it's a raw hope there. Punch out boxing with Charlie Edwards. Charlie, uh, the four fights in four years, just a relief to be out again. Yeah, definitely. Um, buzzing to be back, buzzing to be on a big stage, um, and uh, fighting live on Channel Five, two millions of viewers. So it's great, you know, um, in a in a proper fight, in a championship fight, and a meaningful fight, a fight that I picked. Do you know what I mean? And this is this is where you're going to see the best of me because when I'm up against it, that's when I shine. Yeah, throughout your career, you've never shied away from difficulties. I mean, this this is a good fight for a comeback, considering how inactive you've been. It's definitely European level. Um, one stoppage on a cut. Um, yeah, and yeah, you get with a terrestrial TV audience, uh, opportunity to make a good good statement. Exactly, exactly, and that's that's why after all this time and starting to manage myself that. Um, I've been able to crack this deal with Watson and I'm easy to work with and um, Channel 5 um, are getting right behind their boxing and um, putting on proper fights, you know what I mean? Like, so like, let's go and get this, let's go get this, um, this uh, international title, you know, and let's do it in a, in a fashion where for these last few years where people can shade judgment or anything on me, it's going to just be like, you're only as good as your last fight. So I come out here now and show everyone what I've been doing in the gym. And, how I've been so dedicated and hungry and, and passionate and, and consistently putting in the work behind the scenes. And now it's the fight where I actually can really get up for and, and um, it's put me on the edge of my seat to, to produce a, a, a great performance. Um, I'm looking forward to Friday night. I'm locked in and focused now. And of course, that WBC international belt puts you higher up the world rankings, where you want to be. I mean, once you've been to the top, you don't want to go backwards. Um, but the domestic seems surprisingly good for bantamweight uh, in the UK. Um, got a Somba, who's your, your brother's fighter. That that could be interesting. Um, Ash Lane's making a late resurgence. Um, uh, you know, guys like Andrew Kane's got a bit of an edge to him. He he's coming back soon. So yeah, you're looking at a few domestic rivalries before you move on. Um, listen, same again. All I'm focused on is Friday night. I'd be a fool to look past that. I'm. Um... I've seen too many fighters do it and they've done it in the past and there's no point there's no point even looking onto world honours and this and that. Obviously I have dreams and ambitions, but right now all I'm focused on is uh, Friday night and then from there we can have any discussion about any other one else. And uh Bantamweight's gonna be your division for the rest of your career, do you think? Um I wouldn't say for the rest of my career. Um, I'm Bantamweight now, that is my home. If something big opportunity would come up at super flyweight, which was worth the risk, um I would definitely uh, think about it. Um, and discuss it and um, also like the super bantam weights as well um, one day I'm still 31 I'm still growing I'm still maturing um, so yeah I'm in the sport now for legacy so I'm not I'm not really um, gonna just say this is my weight when I get to where I want to go to then um, I will look up and down the weights and use the position that I'm in at that time to capitalize on big fights all right. Um, well, like I said, great having you back. Uh, we missed you. <laughs> Don't go missing again. Um, yeah, well, I'll leave it there because I uh, know you're making weight. So uh, hopefully we'll speak after tomorrow night.